So, hi writers and welcome in this new graffiti video. This is an unusual start for my videos because it's night already. Basically, tomorrow, the painting day, is the birthday of Mr. Feno185. That I know that probably to you means nothing. He is this stylish guy that you're seeing right now. But leaving out that, this is not the point. He basically is my main graffiti master. And so tomorrow for his birthday there will be a massive painting day with like 12 or 13 people. Since he is a very good host, he wants to pre-paint the wall for all the people that tomorrow are gonna paint. Sadly, sadly, tonight he is at work. And so he asked me if I could pre-paint the wall. And well, since he is my graffiti master and also since I'm broke, this is the best gift I can do for him in this moment. But now let's go to the huge usual legal spot. By the way, there are two main reasons why this wall preparation is gonna be very funny for you and a little embarrassing for me. Here we are, the usual legal spot at night. So first of all, let's be, even if you cannot see it, so it's less funny. The first reason why it's gonna be funny for you is because if I put the light away, you see nothing. I see a little bit better than the camera but still in one hour it's gonna be completely dark and I would be completely fucked. The second reason why this thing is funny for you and embarrassing for me is because at night people is used to come here with the car since this is a very far from the society and lights place are used to come here and produce some love sounds and liquids aka people come here with their cars to fuck for now there is nobody so tomorrow there will be like 13 people and each space has to be made by four sections of the wall this is a section however i just did my math and i will have to paint 54.5 sections. One writer will get two and a half sections because he will make a character, not a graffiti piece. And since I don't want to get hit by people that are looking forward to spread some love, I will wear this shiny stuff. You know, there are those writers that go in the yards uh, with this sheet and then there is Mr. Vent that is wearing this for avoiding being hit by horny people. Fantastic! My gloves are completely wet because I put them next to a not dry roller in my bag. Nice! As bucket paint lover is such a pleasure to work with that high quality bucket paint. However, I took the not diluted paint, I added water, I mixed it very well and I tried it out. So it should be covering nicely. Okay! It's covering pretty well. So, first of all, thanks a lot to Mr. Vent from the past for the perfectly straight camera angle. However, I have to say that the first meters weren't as exhausting as I expected, but still, this was pretty difficult because I barely was seeing something. So far, so hard, so good. I am tired, but not as much as I expected. This one is the section number 21. I am almost halfway in. Let me tell you a fun fact. The most of the light here is provided by these two lamps, which are not public. They are located inside the sports center that's facing the main wall. That's why I have a little bit of light. Now let's play a game. Do you know what happens to sports centers at night? Well, they close. Wait, you can't see shit. I am at more than 31 sections painted, but sad news, as you can not see, because you can't see as well as me, the structure behind this wall here, probably for Kamadon. Probably uh, the evening shift is finished and so they turned off the lights. So now I don't see shit because in this road there is a system of public lights but it doesn't work. So as you can see dear writer 54.5 sections of the wall are gonna be completed right now. Well, at the end I didn't manage to finish alone, I needed some light, basically because the paint that I'm using is black 
and since it's the darkest color that you can have, I was not seeing anything anymore. If I was using a lighter color probably it would have been much better, because using the black, which is dark already, and also I didn't have any light anymore, well, I wasn't able to understand if I was leaving some empty spaces on the wall or something. A big thanks goes to my brother that's also handling the camera right now, so he's been my camera operator and my director of photography. Okay, I painted even one more block than 54 and a half. See you tomorrow. So, dear writers, I am at the wall, the sun is shining, but there is the fog there. It's like Silent Hill. I have never seen something like that at this wall. I hope this is not a toxic fog. If you are seeing this video, probably it's not. Okay, so I am the first here because I have to write the names of the guests. By the way, guys, I've really never seen something like that here before. Behind the wall, there is a lot of soil, so it, I, I think that's normal. Or maybe my most realistic theory is that yesterday has been produced too much love. And since there was humidity, now it is still in the air. Probably the toxic fog is already affecting my brain functionality. Let's paint that's better also because today i will have to leave the wall at 3 pm because today is not only the birthday of my friend and graffiti master mr feno but also the birthday of the father of my girlfriend so i will leave this birthday party and wall at 3 pm and i will join the other party at i don't know 4 i guess pm however it's time to start as always, I start my sketch doing a big tag on the wall with the shapes of the letters I'm gonna sketch, in order to get correctly the proportions of the letters and also the placing. I do this to avoid sketching and re-sketching many times the letters themselves, which is way more difficult and annoying than a big tag. As always, I have to push everything towards the right. Done, it's time for the breakfast, which basically is an energy bar and water. Oh, it's kind of frozen. The very next step should be the background because it is gonna be hybrid background among a faded one and the usual background that I'm doing uh, recently with the old arrows and stuff, at least in my head. Basically, I want to do my arrows but the common background that everybody will have is a faded background something uh, related with space stars however there is another problem the black paint is not completely dry as you can see so this is not a big problem if you paint with the cans but since i have the bucket paint as usual i will do something very weird if you ask me but that should work Eh, it's gonna be long. I took out a lot of paint from the wall. Just look at how many towels I needed. I want to do a try with bucket paint to understand how much it will be affected by the black. Not as much as I expected, at least that's how it seems. I diluted it just a bit because I don't want it to be too much watery, otherwise it will do a mess with the black of the wall. In this case, to keep the bucket paint a little bit less liquid than it should be, should be a good thing. However, meanwhile I wait the black paint to dry a bit more, it's time for the background. So the purpose is to put the lightest colors closer to the letters, because the outline is gonna be a dark one. So I will spray on the wall, starting from the darkest and then getting to the lightest.
I have to say that it all looks very professional, all the color planning and stuff, but trust me, Mr. Vent from the past doesn't really know what he's doing with this background. The overstyle risk is behind the corner with all these faded colors. Azza augurio! Ti è piaciuto regala? Grazie. Eh. That handsome camouflage guy is Mr. Feno that was the last to arrive at his birthday wall. Seems fair enough to me. And here we are, the overstyling risk I was talking about before. Yeah, actually more than overstyling is messing everything up uh, because this color has been faded very randomly by me from the past. However, this color doesn't even fit with the tones I am using because as you have seen, it is too pinkish and not enough violet. So yeah, it ruined everything. As you can slightly see on the right here, I added a clean outline to my background in order to make the arrow pop a little bit more from the chaotic fadings. I don't know why I don't have any footage of that, I was pretty sure I filmed something, but yeah, that's my pro YouTuber life. So I finished the first coat of bucket paint that will never get dry, because in this period of the year the wall during the day doesn't get sunlight directly, so I will wait until it's dry enough to do the second layer of bucket paint. Basically the problem is that even if I dried the wool taking off the black, as you can see the coat of bucket paint is not uniform because in some parts the black and my green mixed. So uh, I just have to wait, I cannot do anything else. So as you can see off camera I've done the second coat of paint which is not actually super dry but is dry thanks god there are no clouds and so the temperature is increasing and the paint is kinda drying however it's time for the outline by the way it's been two hours since the last clip I recorded so I waited two hours the paint to dry let's do it Why popo cetriolo Right after the section lines I started doing the overlapping shadows between the letters. As you notice I am using the same color also for trying and making some effects, which is not gonna be a win choice. I mean it wasn't for Vent from the Past, indeed as you can see he is making many tries with many colors that at the end don't fit as well. Ma per caso potrei prendere una goccia di questo? Well, I also asked for another green to the guy that was painting next to me, big up to Cuomo, but at the end, as you can see, I erased everything and I will leave it like this because, yeah, in my opinion it's better to have a piece without effects that maybe looks a little empty than making a piece with effects that don't really fit. Seven to four, my trademark number, made me struggle quite a lot this time, and then I messed it up. And at the end, since I was in a rush, instead of repairing it over and over, I just decided to destroy it. Huh? 
Hi writers! This is the day after the big party, indeed there is no one at the wall. However, I finished my piece, so you are probably wondering why I am here today. Well, I am a toy. Yesterday at the end I finished in a hurry and I forgot a shadow. Apparently I am not the only one who has to finish his piece. Mr. Bulbe here has to finish his piece. But the most important thing is not Mr. Bulbe himself, but his nice little chair, which is perfect for an old man like me with a knee that doesn't work really well. A dog pooped right in front of bulbous spot. Ah, uh, the shit that we do to paint graffiti, but most of all the shit that we clean up to do graffiti. However, let's do this adjustment. Fuck. It's time for you for the final result reveal and at the end I will show you all the writers in this wonderful painting day. So watch till the end. But as always, let's analyze it. And as always, let's start with the setup. In this case, we are talking about a light drop cap style setup, where the first letter is bigger than the others, like when you write the name of a person. Well, it is light because in this case, more than the sides, what makes the first letter more important than the others is the big arrow that comes out of the V, on which the other letters are set. So the E, the N and the T are kind of subject to the V. I have to say that the composition of this piece is not bad at all, but there is a little detail that ruins everything, while the V is too tight. If the right stick was just slightly more slanted towards the right in order to fill this negative space and also to create a little hole in this area, everything would have been fucking perfect. Sadly, since it isn't like that, this piece makes me incredibly angry because it is a wasted good opportunity. I was so close to make a very nice piece and for a stupid oversight I didn't do it. Well, also this is graffiti and as someone once said, experience the is the best teacher. teacher. However, talking about the letters, I am very satisfied about the N and the T. They are just as standard, I have to say, as beautiful. I am also very happy especially about this exclamation point which is basically coming out of the T. It is an original solution that doesn't compromise the balancing and readability of the T, which is something that looks easy but that's actually difficult to achieve. The E is ok, it is a bit too compressed and I would have preferred this horizontal stick to be a bit longer to balance this out. Well, the V. Leaving out what I already said about the right stick, the letter in general is ok. I like the way I worked with this extension. I flipped it. Usually I make this one attaching it to the letter at the bottom, as you are seeing. The solution I used now also works, which is nice because that means that it is very versatile. Then the background isn't as bad as it looked to me during the process, but still, the fadings are a bit random and there isn't enough contrast between the filling of the clean background and its outline. Besides that, the color scheme is as basic as eye-catchy and so nice. That means I've done a good job about that during the preparation. Good one went from the remote past. And last but not least, what elevated the whole piece look is the yellow overline. It is crazy how it always is a sure shot. However guys, I hope you like the video and I hope you like the piece. If you do, leave a like and a comment to share your opinion with me would be really appreciated. However, subscribe to the channel and I will see you, I guess, in two weeks. If you want to keep in touch with me daily, just follow me on Instagram, link in the description. And see you next time.